All right, ladies and gentlemen, so uh, I've mentioned repeatedly, but I haven't really made a video talking about it on why this, on my thoughts on Bayonetta's power scaling as it currently stands on, no, stop it, on versus Battle Wiki. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing here very briefly. I'm joined by uh, Kyle, uh, as usual. Uh, Mangler is currently uh, being cucked right now, so we will just be continue forward with this. <laughs> so... We're not going to talk about our powers and abilities. Uh, I don't. I don't really think either of us care for that. I'm sure this is fine. I usually say this is the most accurate section of versus battle wiki, so I doubt this is too crazy. Uh, attack potency is where we're going to be starting off with. So for some reason, they decided to give Bayonetta just two C all across the board for all of her keys, meaning that she gets no power amps whatsoever throughout the course of the games or series. Uh, all right. <laughs> Kind of weird that they have her with the left eye key and Bayonetta one of the same tier, but all right, whatever. So low multiverse level can defeat Father Rodin, who is considered to be only slightly weaker than Bright Eye Jubileus. So the Rodin fights being canon is a debatable subject. It's been a debatable one for a while, but I do want to clarify that if you actually look up uh, on numbers, okay, on Bayonetta's wiki. You can actually find a statement, and I've mentioned this several times, but I'll just show it right now so that way people watching can understand where I'm coming from. There's actually a direct statement. Where is it? Right here. This is from Platinum Games for the second anniversary of uh, the Amul for Bayonetta. Please take all these secrets for a spin. I hope you enjoy trying your hand as Rodin, the most powerful character in the Bayonetta series. So. In an official statement, they confirmed that Rodin is the most powerful character. And so I don't think it's really fair to scale her to Rodin, or at least not scale Rodin above Jubileus as well, since technically Rodin is the strongest one right now. Also, technically Father Rodin should be stronger than Demon Rodin, but again, that's even that's that's giving her the Rodin fights in question. Uh which you can't get the Rodin fights canonically in the games. Uh, you need like, what is it, 999,000, 9 million, some, or it's like 9 million. You basically have to max out the, the Halo cap. And you can't do that in a legitimate playthrough. Now, uh, unfortunately, Versus Baoki does not actually link the articles in question. I think I've now, seen... Oh, go ahead. If you're not going to like farm certain levels, legitimately that should take you about... If you spend nothing... Bray the five playthroughs. So it's legitimately... But, okay. but even then, uh, trying to trying to say that, oh, he's below Right Eye Jubileus. Uh, right Eye Jubileus is nowhere near her full strength, and that's like a massive downgrade for the both of them. And Right Eye Jubileus is not fucking Multiversal Plus. <laughs> At best, you can say Universal. But Kyle, the Trinity of Reality was going to be, uh, what was it, uh, engulfed in a vortex of creation. Um, so I guess the argument, well, okay, so first off, I'm actually... Okay, okay. okay so I, I fucking, I, I despise this. What people don't seem to understand is that, one, she needs both eyes, she needs the cardinal virtues to be sacrificed for her, and she needs to be resurrected in Paradiso. She's only met a quarter of those requirements, and that's having the right eye. Yeah, so just to clarify, technically Rodin should be scaling above right eye. Like, so you can argue Rodin's weaker than full power Jubileus, but not right eye, and technically the one who created the Trinity of Realities was a full power Jubileus with her death, technically. The, the lore is a little unclear as to how the Trinity was actually created. Uh, uh, does does Bane to... No. Retcon that, saying that, like, Azir made chaos? Uh, no, because technically Azir, I think, was born in the chaos. It's based on what I remember from the lore, Azir came after the Trinity was born. He just ruled over the realm of chaos. Uh, my Bayonetta 2 lore is a little rusty, to be fair, um, because Bayonetta 2 does add several new changes. Uh, but again, the actual scaling the road in, debatable. Again, you can't get to it legitimately. The only argument I've... I don't, I don't think they had an actual author statement because if they did, they would have had it linked here saying that they had evidence here. Let me check and see if Rodin's page has something. How does Rodin have a multi-continent level key if every key from Bayonetta is 2C? 
What the fuck? Oh, I'm not even. I'm not even gonna touch. Uh, go to Jubilee's page. What? What the fuck gives her multi? <laughs> okay, let me see. Uh, able to create universes casually with the right eye that exists simultaneously inside of her spear. A recreation of the universe previous. To okay, so I, I know what this is about. So this is right here. Kamiya says. Okay, so first off, she doesn't create multiple universes. She technically creates one universe and then changes its properties as the fight progresses. Even if you wanted to say that it had its own time which I'm not going to, like, fight people on. That's still not impressive, because in the sphere that she's in, you have to take into account how big the actual universe is. Like, again, if the argument is good enough for Mundus, the argument is good enough for J Jubileus. Yeah, so, uh, once again, it's kind of just, like, a lot easier. Uh, low multi... Also, okay, so that existed simultaneously inside of a spear, a recreation of the universe previous to the first Armageddon, and plan to override the Trinity of Realities with it. Okay, so... She never performs the Trinity of Realities feat. Uh, she is stopped before that point. So, I don't really think it's fair to give her that, but... Okay, but that technically this by itself should really only be low 2C, assuming you give her uh, creating time. Uh, then this is, I'm assuming, her full power. Far more powerful than before. At her full strength, she has the power to reunite the Trinity of Rea- What? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. What? Hang on. Far more powerful than before. At her full strength, she has the power to reunite the Trinity of Realities, but you're already giving that to her weak- Wait, I'm planning to override the Trinity of Realities with it. What the fuck? That's not what they're saying. Okay, so that's weird. I thought they were going unless, to... <laughs> I, un unless that, like, <laughs> that small fuck? clip gets cut off before he says that, that's wrong. Okay, okay, that's a little weird. Far okay, at her full strength, she has power to reunite the Trinity of Realities along with the parallel universe that has its own time axis. Okay. Okay, so this is from Kamiya directly then. Explain the strategy got as well. All right, let's see. Hang on, I kind of want to see if I haven't seen this one before. Create another axis of time. She escapes being sealed by John, protected by her pocket watch. Okay. Which changes the course of history. So two realize they're created. One more she raised a seal by John, one more she's safe. Okay, but this doesn't make any sense with the narrative, as Walter says here, his goal is to have been... Okay, because they merge back at this point. Because if you have two separate axes of time with two different outcomes, why do they affect each other at the end? So, send... Okay, so... Okay, so trying to comprehend this for a moment. So, based on what he's saying... Because uh, I'm assuming this is Kamiya here, since this is the same text they use for this one... Sending Bayonetta back in time as a child creates a second timeline or axis of time, take your pick, which in turn, or I guess I'll say axis of time because it's, it's technically okay. better. Oh, okay. So they're going by Dragon Ball logic when it comes to, like, time travel. Well, no, because if they're going by Dragon Ball logic, sending Cereza back in time shouldn't affect the main timeline or the first timeline. So there are two timelines created by doing this. One where Cereza gets sealed away and one where she doesn't. But for some reason... The one where Cereza doesn't get sealed is able to reawaken the eye of the Cereza who did get sealed. No, no, I'm pretty sure that the timelines just merge at this point. I don't think that's actually a feat you can give her. Because, again, in order for this to make sense, unless Kamiya explains it more in the guidebook or something, the timelines have to merge in order for the what? eye to awaken if for this to make sense. Otherwise... How do the two timelines affect each other unless the eye just coexists in every timeline? 
wasn't that the entire point of why Boulder brought the younger Cereza to the to have like other timeline future self whatever the fuck yeah so the entire plot is Balder and yeah then the two timelines fucking merge ah uh, yeah this one's a little this one's a little okay so I agree with this part able to recreate the trinity of realities but I don't know about that parallel universe part still being around maybe there is apparently a novel we found out recently maybe the novel can shed more information on this because that's a little confusing otherwise the parallel universe logically shouldn't affect the main timeline if they're two separate axes of time uh, just a little weird there. Uh, Rodan. Whatever. Okay, so going back to Bayonetta. So again, uh, Bayonetta gets low multiverse level. Debatable she ever fought Rodan. I think the only... Ev uh, unless there's a statement from Kamiya or a guidebook statement, the only evidence you can bring up is that Rodan references losing to her in the second game. But you can just argue that's not a fight with Father Rodan. Also, I'm pretty sure Father Rodan's stronger than Demon Rodan. I don't think there's a statement against that. And Father Rodan's immune to the effects of Witch Time, so he has better actual feats to work with and better abilities. So he's probably stronger. He's also the original Rodan, like the original power of Rodan, whereas this one's just Rodan after he enters the Demon World. Pretty sure this one's stronger, but whatever. Um, can fight and seriously injure a weakened Jubileus. Seriously, Enger? Eh, I don't. I, I don't know how to take that because to do <laughs> anything substantial, her and Jean had to summon Queen Sheba. I mean, she was breaking apart her shell. If you scale her shell to low to to two C, I guess. Yes, I'm late to the party, but uh, no, that doesn't that doesn't scale to Bayo. You <laughs> said low multi with Queen She with summons. That that'd be fair. If you just say low multi without mentioning Queen Sheba, then people are going to take that that Bayo's punches herself, like any of her physical kicks without the summons or low multi in this. Well, I want to point out that Rodin, who in his base form was able to stop an enraged punch from Bayonetta, is only scaled to like mountain level in his base form, but Bayonetta has only low multiverse level keys. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Isn't he stated by the creators to be like the most powerful character? Yeah. In Bayonet? Yeah. That's, <laughs> or, or at mm. least by Platinum Games in a statement, so yeah. Um uh, okay, so Mangler, when was the last time you played Bayonetta one out of curiosity? <sighs> Probably a year or two ago. It's been a while. Alright, never, never mind. I was gonna ask you for your opinion on something there for Jubilees, but you're probably not gonna be able to offer much insight. Oh yeah. ask me I anyway. Mean <laughs> uh, I played it like five, six months ago, so I don't know if I could help you. That's fine. Uh, so, Jubileus gets low multiverse level in her weakened state because she's able to create universes casually with the right eye that existed simultaneously inside of her spear, a recreation of the universe previous to the first Armageddon, and plan to override the Trinity of Realities with it. There's no evidence they provide for planning to override the Trinity of Realities with it, but they do have a statement of her creating a universe. So that's fine. I don't know where they're asserting that it was going to take over the Trinity of Realities. The assertion was that she, like, again, this is just VSB missing context. Um, she needed both eyes to do that. Like she also she also needed the cardinal virtues to be sacrificed to her, and she needed to be resurrected in Paradiso. And she failed to get all of these conditions, because not only does she not get the left eye, the cardinal virtues are sacrificed uh, for Bayonetta's, like, lifespan in the battle with her just to awaken the left eye and she's not in paradiso when she fights bayonetta she's on earth so there are several things wrong with the assertion that she would scale to like her uh fully resurrected state just here. just a few well so this is where we get to a uh, fully resurrected jubileus uh the feats for her fully resurrected uh far more she, if she's fully resurrected i'm i'm fine with the low multi key but it has to be under the proper conditions. <clears throat> okay, so far more powerful than before. At her full strength, she has the power to reunite the Trinity of Realities along with the parallel universe that has its own time axis into a single universe where Paradise, where Paradiso reigns supreme. I guess. Wait, if that's true, then you need to take away the first low multi key and change it to Uni Plus. Because there's no evidence that she can affect, like, more than one space time. So, for the uh, imperfect jubilee. The, the problem with with their low multi key with what they give her is, if it was under any other circumstance and any other character, that's a universe plus key. 
Well, so I'll, I'll just point out right now that like, do they even have? Do they even explain how the Trinity of Realities is separate space times, or are they only giving low multi due to the quote unquote parallel universe that's debatable still around? So Mingler, you know how Bayonetta sends her child self back in time. Yeah. Kamiya confirmed that that created a separate axis of time. Where mm-hmm. there are two possibilities. One where Bayonetta gets sealed and one where she doesn't. But the realm where she doesn't get sealed in activates her left eye. Because that was the whole point of the game to send them back to unlock the left eye in the present version of Bayonetta. So I'm pretty sure those timelines merge, but I don't think there's a statement for that. So I guess that's well, fun. That would mean that the timeline that she left the child Cereza in, she's not going to get sealed in that timeline. Because the one she already got sealed in is the current timeline that we see in the games. Yeah, but like what, what I'm saying is like at least the way the way I like the the only way again like I am going a little assumption here, but it's like it shouldn't affect the present Bayonetta unless the timelines merge back or the effects of the past affect her in the present, which would mean they're not separate timelines anymore. I think we've gone over this enough. Let's yep. move on this. Uh, let, let, let's hit let's hit the real haymaker here uh so speed massively ftl can keep up with father <laughs> rodin gross again again, <laughs> again mass, massively faster than life plus doesn't really matter we agree with that because of the fucking ironics let's get to stop, the stop using father rodon a, a boss fight that you require like <laughs> the ability to play the game multiple times over and finish it is not canon Especially one that doesn't have accommodating statements for its canonicity. Uh, especially when the evidence presented for it being canon is references to the first fight, which has the same entry conditions as the second fight. Oh, uh, I, I, I just saw something for Lopter that I don't like. <laughs> uh, th- then there's, then there's also if the he problem can, that... If he can shift through time and that's his power, you have to prove... That he can do it with speed, and it's not just his power to shift through time. Otherwise, give me my immeasurable entropy. <laughs> well, technically, is, isn't his power to be the overseer of his? Well, no, isn't it like the overseer of no, history or something? No, if, if they're gonna do that, give me my immeasurable entropy and give me my immeasurable Crash Bandicoot. No. Okay, so MST. Uh, okay, and right now TL likely immeasurable is able to run through time when entering Mesopolanium and can keep up with Lopter who can shift through time. So this is what they're referring to. They're referring to a co-op mode that. No, no fuck that. That's <laughs> not. Count- <laughs> I've I'm I've never played this mode before. It's a beta two exclusive, but I know it's for sure not canon because you can use any character and fight alongside other people. I would uh, also like to be clear, this is not what happens in the game. <laughs> this is not actually how Bayo go, goes through time in the games. She's actually shown specifically to either be like teleported or sent through portals. She does not literally run to the past or the future. Well, even she then, she doesn't, like, y- you could argue she's going through a portal based off the visuals, since we can't, like, well, but again, I haven't played the event. I don't it, even think there's it, any it, it, it wouldn't matter to begin with. Oh, hang on. Let me actually look this up on the Bayonetta wiki, see if they give some information. But yeah, to be fair, canonically, they never appear in this place. Oh, hang on. Let's see right Useful here. Hunt. What a weird name. Difficult to pronounce. Let me just look it up on the actual Bayonetta wiki. No, no, it's not. It's Muspelheim. Muspelheim. All right, so <laughs> our new hidden challenges that appear in the second game, Bayonetta 2, similar to Alfheim in the original Bayonetta game, uh, these are gateways to the supposed land of origin and act as a gathering place for true warriors of history. In gameplay terms, they are secret verses that challenge players to complete battles with specific rules in order to contribute to the overall chapter score to gain extra items. Wait, unless there's extra context to that, that's just a that's just a portal gateway. Yeah, it says it's like the alpha from the first game, which is just the place you go to in a portal. Yeah, no, fuck that. That's not immeasurable then. Let me check and see. I would also say that's like pretty massive speed upgrade for a verse that consistently demonstrates that its movement well, the, your time is through time travel and not well, through like that, that, that's speed. actually that's actually a pretty big upgrade for a verse where if they actually had immeasurable speed that would break the narrative. Oh, he's beating me to it. <laughs> um, yeah, no, so not really quite sure what the okay. So what is the reasoning? Just well. So first off, that 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 area 
is not even the same co-op one. That's secret mission. So what the hell is the co-op mode called? But no, Kyle's right. Uh, I've mentioned this before. Uh, having a measurable speed on the level they're, uh, they're mentioning breaks Bayonetta's lore entirely. There's no reason they that there's no reason you even have to go through the entire bullshit of go, sending Bayonetta back in time and shit because if you can just run back in time and get the eye. Yeah, I can't find any information well, on the it. The problem is like how easy it is in this game mode to do it. Yeah, they like it's just like right there in like five seconds. Like, why can't Bayonetta save her mom if Bayonetta can literally run back in time? And before you say, oh well, can't you argue for other measurable series like that? Most series actually have rules or reasons why you can argue against it. Bayonetta good reasons. Bayonetta is so involved in time travel and trying to fix the mistakes of a past event or changing the past that them having a measurable speed completely destroys the narrative because they have no reason not to run back in time. Lopter slash Balder has no reason not to run back in time and just yank out the eye of the world from Bayonetta. He has there's no incentive there's not to do that. There's also nothing stopping Bayonetta from just like saving her mom, <laughs> going and stopping Lopter from fucking over the Umbra Witches. You, you remember that scene where they're too late to save fucking Bayonetta's mom and Bayonetta too? Why don't they just run back a couple seconds and stop Lopter? <laughs> okay, I said go and, back and, in time and stop Lopter from like possessing. Find some way to stop her from possessing Balder so she can have a, a dad. Like. <laughs> Like, no. this, is, this is just like several examples in the same game. Even if you want to. Why doesn't she run here? back in time and stop Jean being killed by Gamora? Why doesn't she run back in time and save the witches from the witch hunts? Okay. Uh, now, can, can we explain the difference between why we're going hard on Bayonetta for this shit and why DMC gets a pass? Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, I, I will explain the DMC examples. So, no character in DMC has a desire to go back in time. Because they've already settled in the present for what they currently have. So, people have tried to argue to me that Dante and Virgil wouldn't have immeasurable speed because they would want to go back and save their mom. But they've made it pretty clear that the way that they're making peace with her death is by killing demons or acquiring power. So they don't have any desire to go back and save her. There's no point to it anyway. Also, I want to clarify... And uh, if, if, if we're going with the next one and can keep up with Lopta, who can shift through time. Let's be very clear here, and I hate that I'm going to be this nitpicky. Shift, as in the power to shift, or as in he can run? Oh, hang on. They say it's capable of moving through time with just speed. Let's see it, Kyle. What? Where? <laughs> <laughs> Are they talking about when he moves backwards into the shadow and disappears? Is that what he leaves? Yeah. How do you know? How do you know he's? What the Wait. fuck? Renamon can do the same thing. We don't even see him do. Okay, what? so no. you do see his eye argue. glow. So. What? what? No, there's no no proof he's doing that. Through Is there a, a hang on? Hang on. Is there a statement to back that up? I fucking hope so. Okay, okay, run through time in Missapalene. Okay, so that's just that one. Okay, great. Okay. His power transcends space time. Uh, this is right. true. Yep, original is Japanese tradition. So right. does like every demon in DMC, but they're not immeasurable. <laughs> okay, so I I can kind of see where they're coming from with. Well, <laughs> no, no, you fucking can't. Do not be lenient. Do there, not need, lie. there needs to be more here. He's literally walking backwards. Are you gonna tell me he's walked and back he, to his he, fucking house? And he walks backwards into the shadows where we can't see him, which makes it worse. The problem is, we we've seen when he go when he goes through time. Doesn't he open up portals? And there's, that's how Bane us. There's usually a blue light or a portal that's opening, or to show that he's leaving through time. And before someone says, why doesn't fucking Balder chase him further? Balder misses one swing and gives up entirely on chasing him. Because Bayo. That's just being stupid. <laughs> no, fuck that. That's they, There is no all measurable stuff. Fuck that. Also, before someone says Lopter would be faster than fucking Balder, that Balder proceeds to fight Azir like 20 minutes later. So no. Uh, they, uh, he, he proceeds to fight... And Azir that gets both eyes of the world as well. 
Yeah, so he's able to keep up with, after losing his own eye, a stronger lopter who would be faster by default. So, no, that'd be silly. And if you say he's not yeah. faster, they're equal in speed, so therefore he should have been able to chase him. In. If he's a manageable, he should have been able to chase him anyway! So, and, and again, and, and I'm just going to say, like, and again, like, Bayonetta, Bayonetta and Boulder couldn't touch Azia until Loki erased the eyes of the world. So, so aside from the fact that we have problems for why they're even performing the feats in the first place, we have problems with the internal scaling going up to the supposed feats. Like, uh, this is like a Again, building block of parts that's just falling down as we're going through it. Now, uh, I do want to point out, as Kevin mentioned earlier, we are being so strict as well. Like, so Mingle already brought it up, but I'll say it again. If Bayonetta, and or, I've said it on stream, but I'll say it again here in case no one's seen my streams. If Bayonetta's story wasn't so heavily involved with time travel, this wouldn't be a problem. Like, if there wasn't this big of a fucking story issue with characters who can run back through time, this wouldn't be a problem. I would still have an issue with, <laughs> with the Nephilim and the fucking Lopter one. I do think the Nephilim thing is very uh, lenient. Because, uh, again, they don't... Lenient? They, well, okay, so they don't link the reason why it's valid. They just Dude. say it's valid. <laughs> Kyle, please. Dude. This is more lenient than what they did for OJ. <laughs> this is also no, no. quite convenient because this was this was not like I don't think this, was, was, this wasn't grounded in any like um, I mean it did have I do believe it had a CRT but it, it wasn't grounded it in like, proper reasoning. Let me let me see let me see what it was. I think this is it. Here we go. Infinite speed. Since we know, oh yeah. So I guess infernal statement of being infinite in size. That's fine. Uh, parody should stay bigger. Immeasurable speed was discussed before, but we didn't go through in depth to start. Verse cards are needed to do the game mode tag climax. If you haven't fought an enemy before, you can't use their verse card. Although you think it's just a non canon game mode, they actually use elements from the main game. For starters, it takes place in Missipolania, which is be full of demons, angels, witches, and sages. You're saying it like that. I fuck again, off! Again, so the problem What's here the is they're asserting, they're asserting that, like, because it takes place in Muselheim that it matters like that doesn't that doesn't change the fact that bayonet is not there in that specific or so, so, no okay keep, has this in mind. To the cards. keep this in mind because don't we have a statement in pinnacle of combat that the bloody palace is canon bloody palace yep. me, here i come <laughs> okay mm -hmm. so keep this in mind if they have a problem with bloody palace being canon they can fuck this off all right so hang on let me continue a little bit further it brings the enemies up it brings in enemies of all time periods. This lines up with whatever fucking M place in tag climax. As you're able to fight enemies like Rosa, who is canonically dead. Verse cards are what Loki uses in the game, and he keeps verse cards of enemies you defeated in canon. Wait, if you need Loki's card to get through, and these are the same cards in tag climax. Let's see the image. Why don't they use flicker? I don't get it. Just stick with fucking Imgur. Okay. Because the two are so closely related, that means you used that means the means used to travel to M have to be the same throughout. In Tag Climax, you select the verse card and are able to run through time and enter a time period you wish. So you're only able to fight people and go and go through them if you use one of Loki's magical fucking cards. The guy that happens to be the other half of A Seer. The guys who are the overseers of basically history and uh, I, I think what was it? What was Lopter's problem? Okay, so so from what I remember on from what I remember on my playthrough, yeah, you can fuck this immeasurable shit off. I'm fine with infinite. Infinite is fine because there's an actual hourglass that you can get in Paradiso that rewinds time and you can like still move and everything else is going back in time. Be full of demons, angels, witches, and sages who spend their day pursuing nothing but battle. Oh, okay. So here's the problem: is like, even if even if we take this as canon, we're using someone's magical cards that are shown to have magical properties throughout the game to go through time to fight people, and that person happens to be one half of the guy who's basically in charge of creation. Oh, oh. congratulations, Mangla. You can now have immeasurable bleach because they do the exact same thing to get the Waco Moon though in the Soul Society. Well, technically, it'd be inaccessible or infinite or whatever the hell. Like immeasurable. Uh, hang on. What was Lopter? 
Loki was tasked with the sovereign power to power to control the eyes, whereas Lopter was given prophetic power, being able to use his powers of the remembrance of time in order to keep track of the world's progression. Yeah, they literally keep like they literally keep track of time as a whole. Now to be fair, that's more Lopter's power. But Loki was stated to the sovereign power to control the eyes themselves, which the eyes are stated to oversee history. So yeah, I I I don't know, man. That seems very suspicious. If very you sketch. can oversee if you can oversee history in every single time period in all of time across all of time and space and you have cards that can navigate them why on earth would i give you a measurable speed if this is how you're literally getting to the realm where you're performing said feats <laughs> uh... that's, and that, that's that's without mentioning that this is in a verse that uses time travel via portals <laughs> and like other time paradox. Wait, wait, wait. How do they get back to the present day after Rosa dies? There's a portal that opens, right? And who, who opens the yep. portal again? Hey, she, chase off, she chases off the Lopta. Mm -hmm. Let me see this cutscene real quickly. Hang on. Uh, this will be the last thing and then we're done. Uh, or at least we're done with this one anyway. You know, yeah. two cutscenes. I thought I... Okay. Hang on. That would have been awesome that opened up to the cutscene we needed. I know, I know, I'm a failure. Uh, yes, Battlefield. No, Bruce bad King. display! <laughs> Hang on, let me... Oh, no, it's a little further down. Well, actually, well, this actually would show Lopter, but no, we, we want this one further up ahead. This is not the Lopter we're looking for. No, it is not. Too many Lopters. Okay, here we go. Here's the cutscene question. So, uh, there's Boulder, misses his swing, Lopter, uh, walks back into the shadows. Boulder gives up the chase because Rosa's dying, so, okay. What? Nani? <laughs> also, I just want to clarify that, we need, okay, we need to get back to my time. We can open a portal from here? You know, get the fuck out of here. Bitch. Wait, bro, how are you gonna argue for measurable speed on that level, Bane? As like, we can open a portal. Why do you need a portal? You should be immeasurable. <laughs> yeah, she used the power of the moon to open the portal. Oh, hang on. Moonlight pierces through a ceiling wall. I can feel my powers being magnified. I'll be able to use Witch Walk here. Okay. And, yep, so there's Bayonetta putting her freaking amulet down. I think it's a clock of some kind. And, and yep. Power opens the portal, and then she tells Balder to come. The to dimensional him. portal is opening. We need to get back to my time. It's amazing what context provides. <laughs> okay, so hang on. L let me see. Is it a blue effect? Please tell me it's a blue effect. No, dang it. I heard of. Okay, no. Damn it. It's just. Is a... that not blue? It's like a fucking. It's like a. It's like a sea phone. Yeah. It's like a we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. We're getting there. <laughs> okay, and then uh, what? What happens now? Okay, now they're just back in their normal time. Okay, yeah. No, oh, dude. Fuck off. That was a portal. <laughs> that was that was a straight that was a straight a portal, portal in narrative. A dimensional portal. We need to get back to, the, to our time. Like, I, oh I was God. gonna say you you should have shown the one how Lopta gets like goes back in time. Well. Uh, uh, I, I don't know where to find that one specifically. You were literally like on top of it the first time. Okay, do you want me? Do you want me to go back? Hang on. Yeah, you might as well. Otherwise, they're gonna say like, "Oh, but you didn't see the see how Lopta does it." All right. Okay, so first time. So it's during the first fight, right? It's during when she when she fights him in his ethereal form. Yeah. Okay. So let's scroll over here. Run right around here. Uh, a little farther, I think, or. Ah, here we go. All right. Come on. <clears throat> so many people join video making station. Who's here? This is not in the chat. Hey, it's it's almost like we have an audience. All right, we'll make sure that as long as they don't talk, it's fine. Hang on. Here's Lopter. Uh, Lopter just comes down randomly. Can I just say that his costume is stupid? I mean... Not like Lopter's. 
I'm not quite sure. Okay, you know what? Fuck this. Why am I even showing this version? I can just show the one at the end of the game. <laughs> Hang on. Let me... This is true. But let's go, let's go to that one. So, again, a stronger Lopter. Even though he did lose his body, he should be stronger. I will just begin anew. All right. Same form. I'll return to another place in time. Create a new era. One that cowers to my will. And he creates a portal. He's trying to show his body and return to the spirit realm. He was born in a different era. I mean... Either way, he's using port he's using portals to travel. Like I don't really think you can argue against that. Now, granted, we don't see him do it in the fight unless after he leaves. How much you want to bet? He goes to the portal, and he's literally running there, like in the <laughs> Mulheim game. Wait, so so would their argument disappear then? It, it would. It, it, well, it should. Okay, and here's how he fades away. See a power beyond time. Okay, now what's he doing? Uh, Travis Bane that in a mental time loop or mental mind trick. And there's Loki the first time, or not Loki, Lopter. All right, so he may be interested in your memories. Okay, so when the fuck does he leave? Oh my goodness. Okay, energy blast. There's a bayonet not being able to dodge it. Loki opens the door to the underworld. Smart decision. Kind of weird that like big ass door opens up with four card hits that way. And wait, 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 hang on, hang on. Let's look at that. Lopter just dips out! He just faces, he just fades out! <laughs> yeah, no, there's like, there's like no evidence of him actually if running. You, dude, if you could edit, I'll, I would just love to hear like, like the windows shut down sound. <laughs> we have, we have consistency here. Three individual instances of Lopter using the same blue portal. Or and, just fading away. <laughs> an example provided by uh, BSB basically arguing that in a very blue-ish environment where they're using the Loki's cards, the person that uses the same energy source and is literally the other half of the same being is sending them to Muselheim with these powers. And again, these are, the same people, <laughs> these are the same people who are willing to use this multiplayer bullshit but uh, watch this. If Pinnacle of Combat shows that the build that has all the feats as non-canon, they will, they will like abandon it and be like, "But this multiplayer shit's good." <laughs> Look, I'm just gonna just say this. Another thing too, as you guys can probably tell, uh, DMC Bayonetta gets away with stuff a lot easier than DMC does. These upgrades happen in like two days flat. A measurable, I think the measurable one didn't even actually get like a full like. Hundred responses. The immeasurable one had no had no resistance, and it went through in like the same week it was announced. Yeah, look at this: eighty three replies, and the measurable speed is in there. I'm just saying that. Well, I well I know if it was DMC, that'd be way freaking more. Man, look look how long it took us to debunk that. <laughs> it took us like maybe fifteen minutes. Yeah, and I actually had all the scans on me. That would have taken like 10 minutes. And tops. none of us even physically have the game with us. I mean, well, I have one, but that's not the point. <laughs> well, here is the point. We didn't even physically have the game with us, and it took it such a short period of time to debunk that. Can you imagine what we would have done if we had been actually scaling Bayonetta now, relatively recently? We would have done a way better job. To this be is clear... Hard. There is a there is still a novel out there that could change things that we don't know about yet because apparently so, no one's translated it. And so even when I look, when I look up the books for Bayonetta, they're all either art books or they're guide books. Apparently, it's a Japanese only book, man. It could be fake, but maybe there's some evidence even behind if, it. There is, even if it is Japanese only, it should be listed under the Bayonetta novels. We're gonna have to look into that more. But so just to clarify. 
Uh, if there is more evidence or if there's better evidence stating otherwise and you guys know about it, please feel free to link it down below. Uh, just based off what they say and what they've shown, this is kind of bullshit. Although I will admit that, again, my assumption was there for Jubilees with the timelines merging. But fuck it. Giving her 2C means nothing to me. That's fine. That's not really an issue. Uh, just, uh, that's, that's about it. Yeah. So those are more or less all my issues with Bayonetta scaling as it is here. Uh, oh, also, I guess I should mention this now since Kyle mentioned it. She can't summon Madonna Butterfly on her own. Or not Madonna Butterfly, my bad. She can't summon Queen Sheba on her own. It's kind of bullshit. She also can't summon Omni on her own. So I don't really think it's fair to give her these summons because she can't summon them by herself. Or the feats to them. As she also isn't able to fight True Form Aesir at all. And she's like, also not able to fight true form Jubilees technically. Again, well, let, let's, let, let's not get into why Bayonetta doesn't scale <laughs> completely to her summons yet, because free is coming. Free looks promising. That is true. It's Kyle, not, explain Gamora! <laughs> it'll probably be an alternate timeline version of her oh, summon. You, you, you mean the summon that killed John in one hit, yeah. and Bayonetta needed another summon? The summon take... that could tank blows from the person who scales to their god of their verse, apparently? Yeah, that one. Uh, okay, uh -huh. no, so... <laughs> with no, it it, it means the summon that when it broke its bindings, Bayonetta shit herself so fucking hard she had to summon another demon to kill it? Obviously, we're being a little joking here, but that's but like we, we've already spent enough time here. You guys kind of understand our reasonings. Uh, if you guys have any issues with what we said, or you guys have other evidence that might change our minds, you think, or at least better evidence than what they've shown here, maybe like an actual statement or something from Kamiya or guidebooks, uh, feel free to like, again, link that, let us know down in the comments below, and, uh, th if you guys made it this far, thank you guys for your time as always, have a nice day, I'll see you guys on the next streamer video, take care.